Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh Holford back with another video today and we're talking about this idea you may have heard of. It's gaining traction. A lot of people are talking about something called FIRE. Financial independence retire early and it's, you know, this group of really weird young people who are like living in vans and eating KD every day so they can save as much money as possible so they can retire as early as physically possible, like retiring at 25 or 30 or ridiculous things like this. And there's people who are actually doing it. So today I wanna to talk about, is FIRE realistic? Is it something you should be aspiring to? What are the risks of trying to retire super early? And at the end of the day, if you wanna retire so early, maybe it just means that you hate your job. I don't know, that's a thought, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Time to think like an investor. So here's an interesting thought, right? I mean, every single thing that is living needs to produce more than it consumes in order to live. Like, I mean, even something not living like your car, it has to have more fuel in it than it's using to continue moving. I and mean, your body, you need more calories going in than going out, or eventually you'll run a deficit to the point where you die. Same thing happens with your money, right? If you are not producing enough value, I mean, this is a really cool, piece, I mean, as a tangent, kind of a cool structure of our society is that if you produce a lot of value, you're going to be able to live for a long period of time because you're going to go and you're going to earn money and you're going to be able to spend that. Now, when you retire, things change a little, right? Because you're not necessarily putting in the time or the hours or the labor. It has to be your own money that is producing more value than it's consuming, right? So your money is producing value by being invested in companies or real estate or whatever it might be, and you're the one consuming the value because now you're going to the trips and drinking margaritas on the Mexican beaches, whatever it might be, right? So what does it actually look like to try to retire early? Here's the reason retiring early is such a difficult task and the reason people really celebrate it. The major thing is that across the developed economies of the world, we have these things called government pensions and they're you know quite wonderful to the extent that they actually exist and work. But the idea is this, if you've worked and labored away in our economy for this many years until age 65, we're going to give you a certain amount of money that you can live off of from 65 to 90. You know, in the United States, they have their pension in Canada, we have CPP, all sorts of things like this. But all of that to say is if you're going to retire before the age of 60 or 65, there is a massive bridge that you have to gap. <laughs> there is a massive gap that you have to bridge. I wonder how you would gap a bridge. Anyways, there's this gap that you have to bridge and what it is is you're not receiving your pension yet. So if you retire at 30, you have to come up with all of the income until 65. No one else is helping you. That's all on your own dime. So today I'm gonna walk through some of the numbers. What would it actually require for you to live just like a base subsistence living where you have no fun. Let's call that like $20,000 a year after taxes. I mean, no offense to anyone only making $20,000 a year after taxes. I bet you have tons of fun, but I don't think that's an aspirational retirement. Then we can take a look at a very comfortable, nice retirement. We could travel and do nice things and go to nice restaurants. Let's call that $75,000 a year. So here's how I've calculated this. We're gonna assume that you start working and saving at the age of 20 and then you start retiring at different ages, like you retire at 30, and or what happens if you retire at 40, what happens if you retire at 50. So we're assuming we're starting saving from the age of 20, and we're assuming that when you retire, you get an after inflation rate of return of 3%. Now, if we assume that inflation is 2%, that means we're assuming about a 5% return, minus 2% for inflation, we get three after inflation, that we have to live off of for the rest of our life. So we're assuming we start at 20, we're assuming we're getting a 3% rate of uh, return after inflation. What we find is that if you wanna retire really early, right? Okay, these are some fascinating numbers. If you wanna retire very early and just live a base, base lifestyle where we make $30,000 gross and 20,000 about there after tax and maybe a little more give or take, we're talking $30,000 gross here. You're gonna have to save $770,000 by the age of 30. And you know what that allows you to do is kind of live off of that 3% interest until you get to age 65 or you now have some pension and you can live off of that. So you can think about this, right? Imagine how difficult it would be to save $770,000 by the time you're 30 if you're only starting at 20. My math shows if we can get, you know, an 8, 9% rate of return, we would need to save $56,000 every single year from 20 to 30. I'm not sure about you, but in my 20s, I'm not saving $56,000 a year 
and I mean, hopefully one day, but right now that's just not the case. So now let's say we decide, okay, 30 is a little tough. You know, saving 5,000 bucks a month, it's gonna be a bit of a grind. So maybe let's plan for 40. Well, if we wanna retire at 40, and all of this, by the way, we're assuming you live till 90 years old. So we're gonna retire at 40, we're gonna live off our money till 90 years old. What that means is that we're gonna to have to have $690,000 saved by 40. And you know what? That's actually a little bit more realistic because that means we'd only have to save $17,000 a year. Still quite a bit, but not out of the realm of, I mean, reason. It's possible if someone's making good money. All of that said though, we're still talking about a $30,000 retirement. That's not enough to enjoy, but it's enough that you don't have to ever go to work. All right, what if we decide Okay, we'll push this out to 50. We'll see how it looks at 50. Well, if you wanna retire at 50, make $30,000 a year, you're gonna to have to have at least $582,000 saved. That's quite a bit, but here's the really interesting thing. As we move out how long we're willing to wait to retire, the less intimidating the savings becomes, right? If we have more time to save and more time to compound our investments, that means the longer we push out the retirement or the earlier we start saving, the less intimidating it gets. And you can see that at age 50, because we'd only have to save about $6,000 a year. That's 500 bucks a month. I mean, who at the end of the day, if someone really forced them to and threatened to hurt them, unless they save $500 a month, couldn't save $500 a month. I think most people could get away with that. Let's say you want to retire with $30,000 every year, but now you're 65. You're gonna just take the traditional normal retirement route, what we find is that you're gonna to have to have at least 350,000 bucks to retire. And then you're also gonna have government pension and all sorts of things. But that means you only really have to save 1,200 bucks a year. And that's only $100 a month. So here's where the thinking comes, right? The longer you have to invest for retirement and the earlier you're thinking about these things, the easier it gets. If we wanna retire at 30, <laughs> it's gonna take $56,000 per year from 20 to 30 to come up with enough just to barely subsist for the rest of our life. I don't know if that's a lifestyle that I, I, I would be jealous of, but if we look at retiring at 65, you know, the traditional retirement age, we only have to save $100 a month. We don't have to save $56,000 a year, right? So that's serious. Now, what if we actually wanna live a decent retirement? Now, I've been through a lot of these details, so we'll quickly run through the numbers here. If you want to live a retirement that's about $75,000 a year, the picture gets a little tougher. It actually gets significantly tougher if you want to retire early. If you want to retire at 30 and you want to have $75,000 a year for the rest of your life, you're going to have to save, listen to this, $1.982 million. So $1,982,000 is gonna to have to be saved over the course of a decade. And in my experience, and the clients I've worked with, and the people I know, and the stories I've heard, that doesn't happen from savings, because you would have to save $143,000 a year from age 20 to 30. So I think if that was something you really wanted to do, you'd probably have to start a business or sell an app to some massive company, or you would have to build a very successful personal finance YouTube channel. Next, we wanna retire at 40 with $75,000 a year. We're gonna to have to save 1.8 million. Not really that much less than the 1.982 million we have to save to retire at 30. But now, right, since we have 20 years to save, we can save from 20 to 40 instead of just 20 to 30 we only have to save $44,000 a year. Now, lastly, we're getting into the older ages, retiring at 50 with $75,000 a year in income. This isn't actually that difficult anymore because now we're only 10 years away from getting government pension, but I digress. We still need $1.566 million, so $1,566,000. But now we only need to save $17,000 a year to get that, right, within reason, so that's possible. And lastly, if we want to just retire at a normal age of 65, we would have to save up $1.04 million. And that would take 3,700 bucks a year to save up that much if you wanted to start saving at 20 and retire at 65. So overall, when we look at this, when we look at taking $75,000 a year in retirement income at 65, it only requires $3,700 a year. That's about $300 a month. That's really not that crazy. But if you contrast that with trying to live a really great retirement starting at 30, you gotta save $143,000 a year. So you can see how trying to retire early 
things can really get out of control quick the earlier and earlier we try to retire. That being said, personally, I think that this attempt at trying to retire purely off of investments at the age of 30 is a ticking time bomb. And the reason is, is that there are so many things that could change in between 30 and 90. It's crazy. That's a 60 year time horizon. What happens with inflation, right? There's been periods in history where the prices of things have grown so fast. Actually, there was a story of a company called Weimar, I mean company, <laughs> a country or actually a section of Germany. It was called Weimar Germany. And they were actually, there's pictures you can find of people with wheelbarrows full of cash dumping them out and actually using money as firewood because their money had become so worthless. So obviously that's a crazy example, but that's an idea of how inflation can really get out of control. If you're trying to retire at 30 and all of a sudden when you're in your 40s and 50s and inflation goes crazy out of control, you're toast. You, you, you can't retire if inflation gets out of control. That's a completely different variable. Another thing to think about is we have what's called sequence of return risk. And I know that's a very fancy term, but what it really means is what if you want to retire at 30 and you have a massive stock market crash the year after you start? Well, that's horrible because now you're withdrawing money for your retirement at a time when all of your investments are at a record low value. So what that means is your money isn't going to last nearly as long. The last major risk is life expectancy. If we've looked over the past decades, we've seen that life expectancy has risen like crazy. People are living way longer, right? So if you find yourself trying to retire early and you're building all these assumptions and projections as if you're gonna live to 90, and what if all of a sudden we have innovations in health and now everyone's living to 110? Well, now you have to stretch those dollars way thinner. So it turns out that this idea that life expectancy could rise becomes a huge detractor from our retirement success if we're gonna to try to retire early. And one of the biggest risks which I think about is the fact that you're literally locking yourself into a certain lifestyle, right? So you're 30 years old and you think about this, okay, I'm gonna retire now because I really don't wanna work and I'm gonna retire for 60 years until I'm 90 and that way I would feel free. But it's like, okay, now you're locking yourself into the same income for the next 60 years. I don't know about you, but I'd be very bored with that. Very bored with this idea that my income's always gonna be the same, it's never gonna grow, and I'm kind of stuck in that routine. So anyways, guys, this has been some of the numbers and some of the risks around what it would really take to retire early and what kind of life that really creates and if whether it's something that you really want at all. At the end of the day, there's really two ways to retire. You can build a business and sell it, or you can live like a monk. So if you guys wanna be a monk, hit that like button, drop a comment on what parish you'd like to be involved in, and until next time, see you in the next video.